Day two of the high school girls basketball state tournament also marks the start of class 1A. And for Monaga, all brand new territory as they make their debut down south in March. It's the 4-5 matchup this afternoon as the Braves take on Minnesota at the barn. They got down early but battled back. Alyssa Peterson, floater in the lanes, good. That cuts it to five. Then later, now down 10. The senior Leah Schwartz opened under the basket for two. It's down to single digits. An impressive first half for the Vikings in transition. Abby Ross, the bunny, 41-30 lead at the break. The lead gets all the way up to 18 in the second, but Minaka didn't stop. Sierra off in the corner for three. That gets him going. Just kept chipping away. Loose ball. Mendra, he Me Megan Hendrickson lays it up and in. All of a sudden, it's down to single digits and under two left. Peterson step back for three. That rattles home. Game high 24. The deficit is two. They just ran out of gas in the end. Lizzie Gillingham gets the pass. Coast to coast for the lay-in and the dagger. Braves' first loss of the season comes to the quarterfinals. Final score 74-69. The Vikings advance. Monaga to the consolation bracket. For more from Williams Arena, here's Clayton Castle. Well, the magical run has come to an end for the Monaga Braves as they suffer their first loss of the season, 74-69 to Minneota in the Class 1A state quarterfinal here at Williams Arena. This was our first, our school's ever first appearance at the state tournament, and there's not one thing in the world that you can do to, to prepare them for an environment like this. Um, so I think that was a result of the first half, and then we back, we calmed down and started relaxing in the second half, and we, we were able to put pressure on them and, and play our game. Contributing to the loss was the size down low for the Vikings which overwhelmed the undersized Braves from start to finish. They had like a big girl that we're not used to defending. There's a couple teams up north that we have to play against bigger people, but I don't know, we weren't quite ready for that. Despite the score on the scoreboard, the team felt the immense support from the community and the fans that made the 180 mile trip from Monaga to the barn. Like you said, it was kind of overwhelming at first, but after you get into it, you just kind of forget. We're here right now, and uh, and this, this is not going to be new to anybody. Um, obviously, our goal next year is to get down to the state tournament and to win a couple games and uh, obviously to um, get better than I think we're going to be better than we are right now. The season isn't quite over yet for the Braves as they will next take on Heritage Christian Academy in the Constellation Bracket tomorrow at 10 a.m. at Concordia University. Reporting from Williams Arena in Minneapolis, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.